In this video, we're going to show you how you can turn your Android TV device into a portable hotspot to spread your Wi-Fi far and wide. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as you can see here, I've turned my ONN 4K Pro Box into a portable hotspot. It still does act as a TV as well, but it helps to spread my Wi-Fi that little bit further. So I've got, I'm receiving Wi-Fi into it. It's connected to my TV, still using it as a normal TV device, but it's also doubling up as a Wi-Fi access point or a Wi-Fi router or a hotspot, whatever you want to call it. As you can see on the left there, there's my phone and it's showing that I'm connected to Android AP underscore 8793. And on the right, as you can see there, it's got the hotspot name Android AP 8793. It's connected to the five gigahertz band, which is the faster band. It's not got as much distance, but generally it has a wider bandwidth and can push out much faster speeds. And the bands are less congested on the five gigahertz bands as well. So it does help matters. But as I say, it doesn't doesn't travel as far as the 2.4 gigahertz. Now, depending on what Android TV device you've got, it might not be possible to select the five gigahertz band, but certainly on mine, on the 4K ONN Pro Box, you can, you can select between 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. That's what you wanna output. Unfortunately, you can't do both, it's one or the other. And just to prove this is real and I am connected to the hotspot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the hotspot off on my uh, Android TV box and in a couple of seconds you'll see on the left hand side my phone will say that it's no longer connected. There we go, not connected. Let's pop it back on. Now a lot of people have said that the speed is limited on the hotspot but it's still fast enough. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick speed test from my ONN box and let's just see what we're getting actually into the box itself. So as we can see, I'm getting 502.95 down and 475.61 up. So I'm just gonna run a speed test on my phone that's connected to the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, the ONN Wi-Fi wi -Fi hotspot. And as you can see there, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere near the speeds that I was getting from uh, directly from the router, but it's still pretty good. It's still enough, 73.3 down and 74.6 up. Still double what I need to stream anything from the highest streamer out there, which I think is Apple, which requires about 35 megabits, they say, as a absolute maximum. So it's still more than enough. But in any case, most of the time, I probably won't be streaming from the Wi-Fi hotspot. I'll probably be using that to connect my tablet or my phone to it. So how do I do it? How do I turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot on my Google TV box? Well, first of all, I need to install an app and I need to install Downloader. Have a look at my video, which shows you how to download and configure Downloader. Once you've done that, go into it and then what you want to do is you want to type code 9400313. That's 9400313. Then go down to the arrow at the bottom right hand side of the keyboard, middle button on the remote. Wait for it to count down. And if you get a, a cookie notice come up, accept that. Shouldn't take too long for this to download. And then just go across to install over there, middle button. Wait for it to install. Again, shouldn't take too long. And then go across to done middle button, and then you can go across to delete there, middle button, go across to the second delete there, middle button, and then come out of downloader. So keep pressing the left-hand side of the ring until home's highlighted, middle button, and then press the back button on your remote twice. And then you wanna go across and you should find you've now got projectivity launcher installed. So middle button on the remote control once that's highlighted, middle button again, middle button again, middle button again, just keep pressing the middle button and anything that uh, it wants you to allow, then please allow it to make sure it works properly. So say allow, yes, 
And then what you've got to do is if this comes up, go down to Projectivity Launcher, make sure this switch is over to the right. Mine's over to the left, so I've highlighted it, middle button, and that goes over to the right back button once and then select yes again there and then middle button. Now Projectivity Launcher is a launcher screen manager which makes your system look good. You can auto launch it but there's more involved with it to be able to do that. You can get a pro version as well. I'll perhaps cover that in a different video some other time. So let's just go across now right the way to the very end. Go up to the settings cog just over there by the clock middle button and then go down to AmLogic additional settings middle button hotspot middle button and then you'll see there the hotspot details now by default it's not enabled so highlight portable hotspot enabled middle button on the remote control and that should go blue there. And then down there, you've got hotspot name. That is what you need to look out for when you're choosing your Wi-Fi. So there you go, as you can see, it's at the top of my list on the phone. You can change that hotspot name if you want, just by highlighting this, and uh, you can change it on the keyboard, delete out what's there and put in something more applicable to you if you want to. You can go down to security. Now, I would recommend keeping the security switched on to WPA2 PSK. You really don't want to be setting it to none because otherwise everybody will be able to log on to your network without a password. Then go down to hotspot password, highlight that, and that will tell you the password you need to enter when connecting to the Wi-Fi network. So if I select the Android AP underscore 8793, which is my hotspot name, it's going to ask me for a password and that's the password it's going to ask for. I'm going to have to type that password in. It's quite a long one. Again, you can change the password if you want to just by pressing the middle button on the remote, getting the keyboard up, deleting out whatever's in it and putting in your own password. So it's just trying to connect at the moment. There you go. It's connected. I've just typed in that password. So you've got options here. Turn off hotspot automatically. Wi-Fi hotspot will turn off if no devices are connected. Now, this is usually handy if your device is running on battery, i.e. if it's a phone or a tablet to save power. But if you're using a Google TV device, then it's always going to be powered up by the mains. So you can leave this switched on. And the bottom one, is the bottom setting here is the AP band. Now, as I say, I would try selecting the five gigahertz band at first as your preferred band. If you find you have problems, then select 2.4 gigahertz. But the preferred band is five gigahertz simply because it's uh, got a better bandwidth, should make a faster connection. Also, there's less congestion on that band than the 2.4 gigahertz. But the downside to it is the 5 gigahertz band can't penetrate through solid objects as well as it can the 2.4 gigahertz. So that's why I say play around with it. Just don't take it as red as the 5 gigahertz band is uh, the, the best to go for always. So there we go. As I say, you can remain connected to this whilst watching TV, doing whatever you normally do on your device. You don't have to turn it off at any time. You can keep that launcher on there so that if you do need to change anything in the settings at any time, you can do. If we go back, there you go, that takes us back to our normal menu there. And uh, if we want to, we can just go into Projectivity Launcher at any time. And again, go up to the settings cog and then down to AmLogic additional settings and then into Hotspot and then we can turn this on and off or make changes to it if we need to at any time. But like I say, this is a great little extra on a Google TV box, which enables you to expand your current Wi-Fi, set up a second access point in the home to basically make your Wi-Fi signal run that little bit further. I hope you like this video, and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and VPNs. 
buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.